hey, what are you doing? Put down that bag of chips. We're going to talk about weight. Oh, I know. So I hear it a lot. Um, you know, and in, in my book, Live in La Vida Grande, Why You Can't Lose Weight, um, there's a whole lot of ideas about vitamins and minerals being deficient, habits, um, gut problems, probably a big one, adrenal problems, hormone problems. Those are all really big. But there's a topic I get asked a lot. And it's a lot about fasting and being able to lose weight. Should I just not eat? Come on, should I just not eat? Well, maybe. See, if you're eating properly, if you're eating um, a good, healthy lunch, you're not going over and weighing yourself down with pasta and hot dogs and things like that, and you're eating a, a, a well-balanced dinner, you've got your carbohydrates, your complex carbohydrates and vegetables, and you're getting your proteins, and you're not doing a lot of candy or any candy or baked goods. My personal favorite are baked goods, so I have to watch myself. Um, a lot of people want to know about fasting. Fasting is a great thing, but fasting under supervision is better. <laughs> um, you know, they call it breakfast, which is break fast. Think about it. I'll give you a few seconds to think about the spelling. Okay, break fast is you fasted overnight. When we fast, our body gets, it gets a chance to kind of relax, rest, and we get the, and we get the proper new uh, things function and they get a chance to renew. So am I a proponent of fasting? I think every once in a while, everybody should do a little fast, a guided fast. Now, if you have medical um, reasons why we shouldn't be fasting, you know, you need to see a professional um, who can deal with the, the medical reasons why. I don't usually advise diabetics to fast. I think that's horrible because they can't do it. Their blood sugar is going to be all over, but they can do a, a modified fast. And that's something that you need to be guided through. Um, if we're talking about really just losing some weight, well, sometimes I think it's a good idea to skip break fast. But that, what that turns into a lot of times is people standing over their lunch, inhaling it like they're a vacuum. So you've got to have a little bit of control. But if you're going to do a fast, you've also got to make sure, Scott's probably, he's ready to wet the floor. You can't see him, but I can. Um, you have to be ready to serve yourself good foods. This isn't, I fasted breakfast, now I'm going to eat a couple of big hamburgers like this. I'm going to have a hot dog, three, you know, a couple of bags of chips and some cookies because I've missed out on breakfast. Well, you might as well have eaten breakfast because you're not doing any, any good to yourself. When we fast, our body has to do something um, that it probably should learn to do every once in a while, which is rely on what's stored. Now, don't tell me you don't know, you don't have anything stored because we can all look in the mirror and find a little something that's stored. And it's actually been proven to increase longevity. So those of you who want to live to be 312 should probably fast a lot. Those of us who want to make it well into our 80s or 90s should consider fasting. That doesn't mean you will definitely, but it, it has um, an ability to help extend your life because it affects your DNA. So fasting is a good thing. If you want to fast, I usually recommend that you fast breakfast, but but make sure you get guided information on fasting. Um, whether you're fasting for religious purposes, whether you're fasting for health purposes, whatever your reason for fasting is, don't just set out to do it because a lot of people do it wrong. Yeah, you can do it wrong. How do you, how do you not eat wrong? Well, what they'll do is they'll consume other juices or things during the fast or they're so toxic that they decide to do a whole day fast or two days fast and only on water and then they have these raging headaches. There are ways to do a fast correctly. There are ways to do it incorrectly. Get guidance before you do it. It can be a great tool for helping you maintain weight or lose weight, but you need to be guided through a weight loss fast or any other kind of fast. Give us a call, we'll be happy to help you, but you need to, you need to be guided through. So weight loss and fasting, kind of like the thought. Let me know what you think, bye.